Good afternoon. This is Left Jab. And a right cross coming right at you. Uh, this is the Geneva Show Report, of course, coming to you with our local and national political show. We try to do on a regular basis. Uh, and there's a bunch of interesting stuff to talk to to talk about lately. Uh, we're here outside of uh, Lake Geneva and where the snow is still accumulated and the cold is sort of lessening. I think that's great. That's even political down in Texas where they have a nightmare oh, yeah. of a, a bunch of frozen utilities and everybody without water and electricity. How long can you go without that? There's a prison down there that has bottled water but no running water, so guess what? No toilets. 9,000 prisoners. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, that's good. So, that's a Republican state of the day. Oh. Anyway, I wanted to you talk about a few that. things. Rush Limbaugh uh, died uh, yesterday, and uh, I used to listen to him when I drove in my car in Albuquerque, New Mexico in the 80s. And he was very entertaining back then and talked and listened to him. He was against NAFTA at that time, and Ross Perot and he were talking, and Ross Perot was going to go in and be very anti NAFTA on a debate with Bill Clinton, and after Rush and he got done, he went in and agreed with everything Clinton said. I couldn't believe it. It was my first time that Rush had sold me out, either him or Ross Perot or both. Anyway, I wanted to talk a bit about QAnon because uh, they're still out there. <laughs> Trump is still out there. He's been on. Yes, he has. And, uh, he has. He spoke about Russian stuff. I still remember when Rush wanted to execute drug dealers mm. until he became one and then went through that and he went, well, I guess he wasn't into executing drug addicts anymore. I'm not sure if he really wanted to execute them. That's that's pretty pretty we need to fact check that. That's pretty sad. We'll, we'll fact check it. Anyway, back to QAnon, because it is still out here, and that that, uh, uh, that other uh, alternative to Facebook that started up, what's it called? Parler. Parler. It's apparently back up on some sort of experiment. Yeah, now it's people. a tricky one. It's a tricky one to get on. You, if you have um, certain, like I, iPhones, I don't think you can get on it. On well, iPhones. I think that's a good thing. And Apples, you, there's only certain... Um, we're not even going to tell you how to get in. At least I'm not. But anyway, QAnon. QAnon's still there, still putting out garbage. Uh, what's the latest? They were just super depressed, it turns out, QAnon followers. Because guess who came to speak in Wisconsin? Oh, Joe gosh. Biden. And was, did you watch that town hall? <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. What did he ride in on? It was his first trip on Air Force One. He had been flying the smaller jets, so QAnon, in their conspiracy theory garbage, had decided that the real Air Force One was being flown and used by Donald Trump secretly while Biden was reduced to second place with the smaller jets. So when Joe flew in to Wisconsin the other day, they were all depressed because they went, oh my God, Joe Biden is on Air Force One, and that debunks another one of our conspiracy theories. Okay. QAnon is, they're an extreme group. Not really. They are. They're, they're not. Well, I mean, they're, as far as not, representing the Republican they're Party? Not, they, they don't um, define the regular average Republican, conservative, or patriot. They don't. They're, an ex, they're, they're in their own little group. So. Well, I mean, and you, they're the ones who started to believe that the real inauguration would be on the 4th of March. See, and you're, we, we shouldn't give we shouldn't give extremes on either side a voice, I believe. Well, you talk about my extremes. I mean, everybody said, uh, my friends who are uh, right wing, they all said the same thing, that as soon as Biden got in, we would be going socialistic and communistic. And that is not happening. Oh, it's early. Early in the game. Gas is going up. Uh, gun rights are going to be discussed. I mean, gas yes, went up like 30 oh. cents in a day. It went up because of what happened in Texas oh. for all the refiners. It, refineries it was going up before that. Before no, that, yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. We got a fact check. You said, she said. <laughs> well, no, we're not exactly. <laughs> we'll fact check that. Um, great question. We're going to circle back on that one. Oh, okay. So we have the audio.
Now, I was going to show you this. Uh, a friend of mine did a. Oh, yeah, this is great. He's doing an this art really piece is great. for a fruit company. And that's the first uh, the first iteration of his poster. He's really a neat artist. So yes. Just to change the subject a little. He's very, very, uh, by the way, he's very liberal. He is. Phil says he's great. Yes, he's in Washington, a liberal state. Okay. Liberals and conservatives can like each other. Yes, but I would That's call first nice. because, like today, if you were as long as you don't want high speed, speed rail to pick them up, or something like first, that, which we so, didn't get when Scott Walker yeah, came so in. Just call him. A few other things. Let's attack teachers. Uh, oh, by the way, the blue line on the American flag issue yes, that was created out by Tom Earl right here so when he had to put on the side of some of the city trucks. Oh no, I'm okay. Wait. Well, tell me what time. It doesn't matter who did it because yeah, he's responsible for it. I'll give you that. And he didn't I'm take it off until basically they were forced to take it off because the Geneva Shore report said, hey, this is controversial. It is not simply an American flag that has been modified to be pro police. It has been taken for other things and used by the anti Black Lives Matter movement and white supremacy. We don't need this on our city trucks. <laughs> Well, they took this uh, all the way to oh, Nord, yeah. David Nord, the city administrator, the, the mayor, uh, went to the oh, even yeah. of the city council, and they all hemmed and hawed and said, there's no real procedure or ordinance in place about what goes on the outside of city trucks. But nevertheless, it appears they've oh, taken yeah. this violation you? down. Why is it a violation? Mm -hmm. Because legally under the U.S. Code, Title 10, mm -hmm. The flag can't be modified in any way. It represents all of them. Don't make a sign from three to four yet. No, no, no. If you can buy it personally, oh, you buy it personally. Really See, the Supreme Court has agreed to that. Typically but you can't put it on something like a city edifice, okay, and have that for. I'll give you that. And on city property, maybe it shouldn't be used. Because it's supposed to represent and everyone. And if it's not a certain oh, part of the population, get everyone. Yeah. And that's why it's the American flag and not the Marine Corps flag. Air Force what? flag or the Army flag. Okay, so it shouldn't be on city property, especially if it upsets people in the community. Well, they should. But I don't necessarily oh, believe it's right? white supremacist no. or and it was against Black Lives Matter. Still red, white, and blue. It was not the black and white right. flag. It was red, white, and but blue. But you can buy the black and white Yes, you can. Flag. You can buy the red, white, and blue. Yeah, for your you personal use. Right. Or freedom of speech, all right. about that. Left and right. right. Okay, I'll go with that. Okay. I'm not against uh, people <laughs> owning guns, by the way. I'm just against people no, shooting bears. No, I think you're going to be fine. Because yes, that was are. in the you GSR this week that they're going to give tags of 10,000 eggs. Why are they killing wolves? And they're going to kill wolves. They just approved that. Which not I don't know one there, wolf. There must be a reason. Not one wolf. Oh, not no, one bear. Not one puma, cougar, has ever killed a human being in Wisconsin that we know of. It's okay. never been reported. Mm -hmm. And yet, here we are going out to kill, what, 24,000 bears, supposedly. If, We're handing out 10,000 mm -hmm. tanks to kill out 10,000 of them. If anyone knows the reason behind um, the wolf hunt and the bear hunt, please message it under here, because I'd like to know why they are doing it. Bad people. They They're all over the place. There's got to be a reason behind it, though. Well, yeah, bear meat. You guys serve in every restaurant here, you know. Oh, you want a bear broth? No. We're going to circle back to that. We're going to circle back to that. What? Yeah, it's a little sake for you. We're going to circle back to that. Sake? What's a sake? Jen Sake. And Biden administration press secretary, Jen Sake. We'll see you next week. What about her? That's her famous line. What? We'll circle back on that one. She never knows the answer. She's always circling back. I'm going to circle back. You're going to circle back on bears. I am. Well, we're very pro bear, okay? Especially okay. mama well, bears let's go, and baby bears. Let's go back to the gun regulations. What about it? Okay, have you read what what Biden has, what he has, what he'd like to have in place? Have you read all of that? What, is he, what does he want to do with guns? I didn't know. Okay, so anyone who has a who would like to have a gun, it has to be registered, which is, that, that's, it has to okay. be, that's real. That's what oh, yeah. we have going on that. right now. Yep. Um, background checks, okay, mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Okay. Psych checks, I, I'm i okay with that, but there are stipulations in the psych check. If you've ever had any bouts with depression, no. Some people have had minor bouts, 
with depression because of real events in their life and they've overcome it and they're okay. Not everyone deals with it on a long-term forever basis. So there's certain stipulations with the site check that I'm not quite sure about. Then you'll have to um, purchase insurance through the government. For what? <laughs> Have to have a registered gun. So you will also you will also what? have to pay a yearly fee of over eight hundred dollars to have that gun. And per gun. Per gun. And you're going to have to list the exact location of that gun in your home, and it will be public record. I think we're going to public record. Back on this because public record. Credibility so, was low here. Hmm, back yeah. yeah We're going to fact check on this one. All right. I'm going to look it up right now. Okay. I'm here. Ricky, I have, I have it. Oh, wait a minute. It's on my phone. Dang it. I have a copy of it. Oh, I, I have a copy mm -hmm. of it right on my phone. But my phone's recording. Oh, okay. okay. I don't think they're going to find it. Because it's... Anyway, I have the actual document, <laughs> but it's on my phone. It was sent to me. Through my husband sent it to me. So I would be prepared for the show. Dang it. <laughs> you know, if you're not, it's not there. No. It's his proposal that he is going to present to. It doesn't exist. It's it not does. There. It does. It, it would exists. be everywhere. So what I'm saying is, okay, what happened? How did that? Okay. This is how the government starts to control. Their what? people. They take the guns away. No, no average person we is going to afford a gun. 338 million no, people in the USA. Do you know how many guns we've got out there? Over 400 yeah, million. But they're not legal. And you think this new thing they're is going to. They're legal what? They're all legal. Oh, well, there's a lot of illegal guns too. And that's not going to stop people from having illegal guns, this new thing. But people who want to own a, a gun card. on a legal on a legal basis, they want to do it the right hey, way. We shouldn't They're have not going to afford any, it. any assault weapons. Well, out there. I agree. We shouldn't have any military agree, weapons out there. We I don't agree. need machine guns. I we agree. don't need hand grenades. I agree. We don't need any of that. No, nope, but the average. Average, I got a mile away, I got a guy shooting a 50 and two Browning 30s. I don't know what. And a cannon. Okay. He's got I a cannon. Well, that's a cannon is not a gun. Yes, it is. A cannon? A cannon is a big gun. Duh. A cannon is a cannon. A gun. It can also be a howitzer. Okay, well, I just know it from the Roadrunner and the Wild Coyote. Oh, my God. You know, it I'm going shoots back a big to, ball out. I'm going I, that's back all to, I know about cannons. I'm going back to QAnon here for okay. a moment. Because they've got this other belief that I think runs through part of the Republican Party, and that's that March 4th is supposed to be the real inauguration where Trump will come back, okay? March 4th, by the way, was the old date of inauguration before it was changed under Roosevelt in the 40s to be January 20th. So Biden was inaugurated on the 20th based on the changes that were made back then, back when the Democrats had control of the House, Congress, and the White House. They made certain changes. One was Social Security, another was Medicare, another one was changing the lame duck period of time yeah. so as to not have it be so long because time had speeded up in the modern world. Now it's, of course, light speed compared to that, so even January seems like a long time for that, you know, from November to January. But nevertheless, there's that other belief out there that crazy things are going to happen on March 4th and that they need to re-energize what happened to people, what happened on January 6th and get them all stoked up and heated up for a march on, on, on March 6th, March 4th, which of course would be a bad idea all the way around. Not to mention the fact that I think a whole big chunk of the people who attacked the Congress uh, ended up you know, I think 200, 200 so yeah. far, and they're still looking for more. Yeah. Some of them um, could see 10 to 20 people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that, well, that one so. guy injured so many cops just to him alone, and, you know, I, I guess they just thought they were going to walk away. That's not going to happen. But the stimulus. Okay, let's get to the, to All the money. All quiet on the Western Front. Mm -hmm. Yep, I mean, sure McConnell is. And Trump are saying bad things about each other. But where's the stimulus in all this? Uh, Lindsey Graham is still on the Judiciary Committee. I'll that. 
Ted Cruz is in Cancun. He's on his, his way back. His pipes froze. But he said his daughters made him go. So. And they probably did. They're probably like, Dad, we we've had this trip planned. Let's go. And what is he gonna do? Is he he doesn't get out there and work on the pipes? That's for sure. Okay. That would be actual work. Ted Cruz. Along with Cruz. every other senator. Yeah. They're not going, none of them are. You ought to be ashamed. Fuck. Of having those people even aboard your party. I mean, oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. Fine. We can do trading card things. You make up some cards in the Senate. I'll make okay. up some. I'll give you okay. AOL and you give me Cruz a AOC? and AOC. AOC. I don't want AOC. <laughs> you can keep her. She's cute and all, but. <laughs> I will. She is very feisty. She is. She is cute and feisty. Oh well, yeah, that. and she's got she some good ideas. She does. She has some good ideas. Uh, even You're right. Nancy Pelosi every once in a while screws up. We're oh, stop once using in a while. Son huh? and once daughter. Once in a while. Come on, dude. Don't do that to us. But we need the stimulus. We do. We have people out here really need it. A Republican came on this last week uh, and said that you know. Oh, everybody's just sticking in their savings account. They don't need it. And then I got in this big brouhaha wow. on the internet. Oh, the average American makes $68,000 a year. How come I don't know those people? And I don't think the average person getting that stimulus is putting in savings. But there may be the higher and income bracket people are putting in savings. Because there are some people that maybe don't need it quite as much as other people. And the people who need it, who really need it, really need it. Like there are some oh, families. No, not in March. There are some families that are struggling. Right? Is so they promised. And My then, guy promised, and so I wanted. Your guy. My guy promised. I wanted Joe Biden to beat Donald Trump, and he did. But he did it because of a few things. Well, let's, One was let's, that promise. Let's look back. Was it legal? Was it legally did it really well? That's entirely oh, argument. I know it is. Even all of his people, even Barr, even yeah. William Barr said there was no fraud. I mean, come on, state after state did, yeah. court after court did, all of them, all of them. Do you see? Do you see the? Um, this is QAnon and their conspiracy. Do you see every time? Um, do you see every time Donald Trump leaves? Donald Trump, do you see the amount of people that are just cheering him on as he drives back to his home? Who cares about a few hundred people? It's, but it's everywhere. No, it's not They're everywhere. His, it's, a, his, it's a small, diminishing love base love of wackos. Wackos. I don't know. I don't know. I think a lot of people still really love what he stood for and the changes he was trying to make. A lot of people loved to love Hitler before, even after he was dead. Give me a break. You know how he took people over. People love following you know how he, leaders. You know how he took over the people and got them to do what he wanted to do? Took their guns. No, he got the That's how it started. The media. And then he took their guns. Oh, really? And then there's Jim Jones and that. You know, he got 906 people to kill themselves and their kids out of 920. Now, come on, these cult leaders get in people's minds and it causes insanity. It does. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. And we shouldn't that be following is crazy. any single man. I'm not following Joe Biden. Yeah. And I'm not stuck to it. I'm well, stuck to the Constitution. The town hall was great. Yeah, it was nice. It was laid back. He answered directly the questions and everything. He stumbled and over and over again. He did not have the right numbers out there. And he also stated that there was no vaccine when he came into office. He was already vaccinated before he came into office. Well, he was not talking about an individual vaccine. Mm -hmm. I think he was talking about that they existed. Vaccines existed before he came into office. He said they didn't exist. That's not true. Yes, he did. No, that calls for a revisit. Uh, we'll we, fact check that. Are we Let's circle back on that Let's one. Let's circle back on um, that one. We're going to fact check that, but I, I watched it and heard it from his mouth. Oh, and talk. Okay. Credibility is low. Well, the Biden site has everything he wants to do with, with the, the gun guns. control. Yeah. Really? It's pretty intense. Yeah, it's, pretty intense. I have it pulled up. I mean, I haven't read through I the have whole thing, the but. I have actual document, so it's easier um, to read. Yeah. Like, but it's laid out here, yes. And the Social Security Administration, he wants them to send background checks and put a hold on individuals who, yes, have mental. 
from problems. Social Security disability through mental reasons. Mm -hmm. And if you have been charged with a hate crime, you will not be able to purchase guns. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, Nothing wrong with that. Um, hey, if the government's paying somebody and a couple grand a month, no. He you wants to prohibit, oh, he wants to. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I'm yeah. saying all the other things, you have to pay for yourself to own a gun. So in order for an, the average American to own one gun, what the hurdles they have to go through to even own that gun, and then the amount of money they have to pay every year just to own that gun, they're not going to be able to afford it. It's going to be... At least a few thousand, if not more, a year. What are you going to do about all the 400 million guns out there? I don't know, but there's still, I'm Media trying to get through it. Guns to this. A payback. Okay. Yeah. You want a gun and you want to get rid of it because you can't afford it? Well, anymore? wait, there is something in here about the government will purchase guns back, but I haven't gotten through I'll like how or why. Successfully, by the way. No. They bought tons of them. Back. And then when most of the guns are gone, the socialist communist men begins. I don't remember the socialists <laughs> attacking Congress and Senate. I remember that being the other side. No, they just, they just that was the other side ripped down bonkers. the, they just tore down our, and burned down our cities. All what the cities? Nations. You're saying cities in general when you're talking about a little part of one block of a city is not a whole city. Is not Maybe Philadelphia, is not Maybe Portland. Is Portland, no, 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 there no, were cities small parts. everywhere. No, small parts. 99% no, of those okay, cities did so not burn. So you can't say that. That's a, okay, that's a, a false thing. A small part of the city was burned down by you. looters and rioters. So that makes it okay. No, it make, makes what you're saying not okay. So take it back. No. She's never going to take it back. No. Yeah, I'm not. QAnon. No. Okay. And you're going and to Florida got anyway. Love for everyone. You're going down to Florida to get away from the cold like Ted Cruz. I'm probably your I daughters are making you do it. They are. Yeah. They're like, go on, go. They are. Okay. Okay. And when our pipes freeze, I'm home and I'll play back. This is the left jab. <laughs> this is the right cross. And we're coming to you on this Thursday with our opinions back and forth on what's going on. We hope you at least enjoy this thing and watch it. Uh, I'm George Blucher Jr. And Lisa Otto. And it's an even short report. And? And Jen and Lubkowski. I mean, I am so here. I fact out. check. Yep, she's our fact checker. Uh, yeah, everything. right. Which I noticed you fact check for her, but I not for me. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. This is the women's I mean, <laughs> I show up every day, and yet I get forgotten about every day. No. Okay. Okay. We're we're done.